Hello, this is Chris from Palatech, and in this video we are going to learn how to redirect the links of our site using the redirection plugin. To do that, we need to go over to the left, where it says plugin, we are going to click on add new. And on the plugin search bar, we are going to type redirection. And this is the one we are going to use the redirection plugin. Manage 301 redirections, keep track of 404 errors, and improve your site with no knowledge of Apache and Nginx. So, this plugin here will allow us to administrate the links. We want to change the redirection, so we are going to click on install now, and then we are going to click on activate. And then we are going to scroll down, we are going to find the redirection plugin right here in the list of install plugins and we are going to click on settings and you can also look it here on tools, you will have the redirection options. So we are welcome to redirection and how do we use the plugin? A simple redirect inbox setting a source URL, the old URL, and target URL, which is the new URL. Here's an example. So we have we add the old link here and we click the new one, and that's all there is to it. And the link will change to the one we have set. And we can some we have some Useful features here we can monitor 404 errors to get detailed information about the visitors and fix any problem. We can import the HAT access and we have a more powerful URL matching with relevant expression and other conditions. So we are going to start the setup and for the basic setup. There are some options you may want to enable now, they can be changed at any time. We can monitor the permanent change in WordPress post and pages. And if we make a change to the permalinks of posts and pages, then the redirection will create automatically and ready for the new link. So we are going to check back on. And we can keep a log for our redirects and force it to fall errors. Storing logs for redirects and force it to fall will allow you to see what is happening on your site. This will increase your database storage requirements. So we are going to check that. And we can store IP information for Redux and for C4 errors. Storing the IP address allows you to perform additional log actions, not that you will need to add it to the local NAS regarding the collection of data. So we are going to let that one uncheck and we are going to continue the setup. And REST API redirection use the WordPress REST API to communicate with WordPress. This enabling and working by default. Sometimes the REST API is blocked by the security plugins, example WordPress, some firewalls, some caching software, or some other plugins that block the REST API. If you do experience a problem, then please consult your plugin documentation and try to contact your host for support. So our REST API works as you see here and you will need at least one working REST API to continue. So we're going to finish the setup and we have finished to create all basic data. So we have some options here. We can redirect logs a week once a week and for the 404 as well we can use the ip login full ip login and euro monitor we can monitor changes to post pages template and some of the plugins and widget we have installed so we have an rss token and unique token that allow fit readers to access the redirecting log for the RSS, so we're going to leave blank to auto generate. And we have a default URL settings. We can apply all redirections unless you configure them otherwise. 
case insensitive matches and ignore training slashes like these on the examples of here. We have default current matches apply to all radiation unless you configure it then otherwise exact match. Exact match is the query parameter exactly defined in your source in any order. We can ignore or pass. We can auto generate and generate. We use to auto generate and here is not really is given. Use the special tags like this one to insert a unique ID instead. So we have a ready cache. An hour. How long to cache ready stream via expires HTTP HTTP header. So we are going to move to the Redux here. And we have all the redirection we have created so far, which in this case we don't have any. So we can add here the link for the original URL and the query parameter exact match all parameters in any order. So we are going to target the URL. We can add here the new links. And we have all the redirection and modifier ports in WordPress. And we can ignore all parameters or ignore a bash parameter to the, target, to the target. And we have groups we have created for the redirections and modifier ports. And we have some options for the site. We can relocate the line, edit a site alias. And we have the canonical settings and the HTTP headers. We have the log and the for error for zero four error log as well. Here it will show all the errors the visitors have encountered on our site and all the logins they have made. So, so we have learned. How to redirect the links of our site in a quick and easy manner using the redirection plugin. If you like the video, subscribe to our channel and share it with a friend who might need help on their sites. See you the next time on Paletech.